Welcome back everyone. This is video two for our line lesson. I am going to go over the supplies, show you a few examples, and then we're going to get started. So uh, what you need today, if you don't have it, I want you to press pause, go get it, and then press play. You are going to need a, uh, a pencil, an eraser, a black sharpie. You are going to need your uh, warm-up paper. This is Joey's. You are also going to need your large piece of construction paper. So if you don't have these items, oh, oh, and a scratch paper to write on underneath your large construction paper, okay? If you don't have these things, press pause, come back, and press play. Mm -hmm. Why do you need that? So that the Sharpie doesn't bleed onto the table. Why are we doing pencil first? Then we're going to do it in Sharpie after. Yeah, okay. So Joey's like, why do we need this? I'm explaining we don't want the Sharpie to bleed onto your table or your countertop. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is uh, go get the materials and come on back. If you have them, we're going to get started. I'm going to go over uh, what I went over with you last time really quickly. Uh, these things I want you to keep in mind while we're doing our art lesson, just to have a positive attitude and to have a good time. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to ten. Take another deep breath and come on back and try it again. The third thing I'd like you to uh, keep in mind is that everyone's art is going to turn out differently. So yours is going to be uniquely yours. And it's not going to look like mine or Joey's or anyone else who might be doing this lesson alongside you. Number four, art is not perfect. Nothing in life is. So don't expect perfection. Just have a good time. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple things from last time and then a couple new things. So here is some, this is a composition using some lines that I showed you last time. Just giving, going to give you a quick review of these. Here's another one right here. So we're going to be creating a composition today. And our composition today that we're going to be creating is you, we are only going to be using lines. So an artist can use a variety of lines and patterns to create different visual textures, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Right here, it's another one that I showed you last time. And here are some new ones that I'm gonna show you. We are going to be creating a leaf today, a very simple leaf. And within that leaf, we're gonna create line segments and within each line segment, we're going to do some up a different pattern. Here we go. Here's another example. And here's another example. And two more. And this. All right, last time Sarah was so kind to go get some leaves from outside of our home. So if you choose and you'd like some inspiration for uh, a leaf, you can go outside right now, press pause, go outside, dig up some leaves out of your backyard, front yard, side yard, and bring them back in and you can use them to look at uh, for inspiration. So now that I've gone over everything, we are gonna get started. So this is your large piece of construction paper. I'd like you to have it faced in this orientation. This is called a portrait. I have faced my construction paper in the portrait position. Joey's going to have his in the portrait position. And he's going to start with a pencil, an eraser. You have one? I am going to start with a black Sharpie so that you can see my image. I'm going to introduce you to my lovely assistant today. Here's Joey, ready to start. He has his workspace. In front of you, you have your construction paper faced in the portrait position, and we are going to be using our space very wisely today. We are going to draw a very big leaf. We're going to have it almost touch the edge of the top, the bottom, and both sides without it actually touching the edges, okay? So that will give us a good amount of area to segment and 
then create different line patterns. So Joey's ready, he has his pencil, he has his eraser. My advice to you, Joey, is when you are drawing, you draw, um, you put light pressure so that if you do feel like you need to or want to erase, you can. And then when we're done sketching it with our pencil, we are going to trace it with our black Sharpie, do the line segments, and then put the patterns with it. Those are the steps for today. So I'm gonna go to the top of my paper. I'm gonna start from the top and I'm gonna work my way down creating a gigantic leaf. So come maybe like an inch down your paper and you can look at your leaf for inspiration if you have one, or you can look up here for inspiration. Go ahead and start at the very top and kind of make a, a shape that would represent this side of the leaf. So you want it to come way out, way, way out. Okay. And then I'm going to do this side of my leaf. And then I'm going to work on the left hand side. Okay. I might come in and then come up. And remember what I said. Oh, I just smudged mine a little bit. That's all right. Remember what I said? We're going to come kind of out towards the edge of my paper without touching the edge of my paper and work my way back in a little bit. And then I can even create a an area down below. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here to the right. And do you see how it's not symmetrical? And then I'm gonna come out here a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring my leaf in so that I'm going to make my stem come down to the bottom. I'm going to make my stem thick enough to do a line pattern within here. So I'm going to bring my stem down on both sides and I'm going to close it up with a little oval shape. And then I have a little bit of space at the very bottom, just a tiny bit of space. Beautiful. If you need to erase to make it bigger, areas bigger, go ahead and do that. I'm going to do a close-up so that you can see my, my leaf. It's not perfect. It's just my best effort. Here is Joey's. It's kind of hard to see without uh, the Sharpie done. So maybe I'll show them after you, Sharpie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and grab your Sharpie now. Sorry. <laughs> and put your warm-up paper underneath your leaf. Yep, so Joey's being careful to put his warm-up paper right under uh, where he's going to be sharpening and he's gonna start tracing. I've already done mine in Sharpie. I'd like you to go ahead and start yours. Hmm? No, he's reminding me. So uh, you can press the stop button right now and you can go ahead and trace your whole leaf. And then when you're done tracing with your Sharpie, then you can press uh, the play button. Joey's in the middle of uh, tracing his right now with a black Sharpie. He's taking his time. He's trying his best. It's looking very nice. Okay, see how right here it's all like very natural looking design? And I might come over here and work it with your eraser and make it more in that style like you do up here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. See up here? It's like it looks a little bit more like a like a natural leaf, and then here this almost looks like like a hand. You want to 
keep the same um, style. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to help Joey do a little bit of erasing. And make it nice and big so that you can do a bunch of Beautiful. And then this is gonna this can come in a little bit more. So that your stem. There you go. Awesome. Beautiful. Remember, yours is gonna look um, different than mine. Joey's is gonna look different than mine. Yours is gonna look different than uh, everyone else's in the class. All right. Joey is still tracing, and I am gonna go ahead and uh, keep going, moving the lesson forward. If you need to pause again, if you need to pause, go ahead and then press play and come back. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you an example where, um, a couple examples, how they segment it. So here, the leaf is segmented by drawing uh, a line down the center and then just doing lines going out the tree or the, the the leaf. Here's another one. Line going down the center and then lines going out. Same here. Line going down the center and then in an array out. This one's a little bit different. It's more of a curved line. All the way, all the lines are more curved. Okay? So I'd like you to take your pencil before you do the Sharpie part of this. And I want you to create your lines using a pencil. So Joey's almost done using the Sharpie, and then I'm gonna have him use his pencil in order to create the segmented areas. Once we're done with this section of the lesson uh, using the pencil, we will be done with the pencil and we'll just be doing um, Sharpie work. Beautiful, very nice. I'm gonna show them where you are. Okay, here's an example right here of a leaf. This is Joey's leaf right here. And now we're going to add segments. He is using his eraser right now and he's erasing any of the lines that he sees that his Sharpie didn't trace over. Okay, so now grab your pencil and I want you to bring the line that I want you to do, that I'd actually like you to do now that I'm looking at this. Okay, come up your stem, and I'd like you to end your stem in some way. I'm just going to do like a... Oh, Joey's asking to do it in Sharpie. That, that's fine. So just end your stem, and that's going to be a line, uh, an area where you're going to be segmented. Good. Okay, now grab your pencil because you might want to play around with it. When you're doing this, you might want to play around with it so, so you might want to erase. I'm going to just use Sharpie though. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to come up to the very top of my leaf and I am going to create some sort of line, whether it's a straight line down or a curved line. You make the choice and you're just going to create a line coming down to divide the leaf in half. Awesome. Then I want you to look at the right hand side of your leaf. And I want you to think of maybe one, two, three, four lines. So play, do it with your hand first. Go like one, two, three, four. Or if that's too many, do it with your hand and do three. Like one, two, three. What are you thinking? Uh, um, three. three. Okay, so Joey's thinking three. So if you do three lines, you're gonna actually have four segments. So watch, do it again with your hand. One, so you'd have a segment here. Two, a segment here. Three, a segment here, and then a segment down here. Okay? Yeah. So with your pencil, decide how you want to break it up. It could be a straight line or it can be a swooping line. What do you what do you think you're going to do? 
Okay, Joe's going to do a straight line. Okay, so see here? See how it kind of like spiders out? So we should probably pick like a focal point. So actually, yeah, sh so should we have the lines be coming out of here or should we have the lines be coming straight out of th this right here, Joey? What do you think? The lines coming out of here are spraying out from down below. Um, spraying out from down below. Okay. So I guess it really depends on what your leaf is looking like. All of these leaves. Oh, so here, actually, this your leaf is looking more like this leaf. So you might want to do what you were talking about coming out from the center. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different um, strategies. So you can use this middle line, and you can either have your lines spraying out from the center of the leaf right here, depending on how your leaf shape turned out. Or you could have your lines all starting right where your stem starts spraying out, okay? So the way Joey's leaf is created, it was on the like skinnier side. So he's decided to have his center line and then one, two, three lines coming out. So he's gonna have one, two, three, four sections. One, two, three, four sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna do uh, what you did, Joey. But I'm gonna, instead of doing straight lines, I'm gonna do swooping lines. So I'm gonna do one, and everybody, you can go ahead and start. Two, and three. So I have one, two, three, four sections. And then I'm gonna come over here and do one, two, and three. So one, two, three, four sections. So in total, I have four sections here, four sections here, and one section down here for the leaf. Okay, so now what I want you to do is look at your warm up. Here's your warm up. And I want you to look at the lines that we did. And I either want you to choose one line that we practiced last time, or a line that maybe you had created after we were done with the videoing of the lesson, or uh, a line that you're making up in your head right now. So choose a line, uncap your Sharpie, trace, I'll give you a minute to trace in, because I know you just did it in pencil, so trace in your line segmenting the leaf. Beautiful. Then another one coming down. Beautiful. Okay, so now pick a section. Which one are you going to start with? Top one? Okay, and then what line segment would you like to do? Or line pattern? Uh, just a normal line, like, like up and down. Which one is it? Like that one, just going like slanted. Okay, so Joey is just going to do a, a, a like slanted line going down. Okay, so, oh. Okay, so go ahead and start doing that line slanting down. If you want to pick a different one, you may choose a different one. All right, now what I'd like you to do is pick another line, maybe a little bit more of a complex line. Wait, can I start doing it? Yeah, which one are you going to choose? The one that I made up in my head just now. And what's that? Oh, I like that. That's very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna copy it and show you what uh, Joey's doing over here. Uh, if you'd like to do the, this one, that's fine, or you can do your own. He's just doing like half circles on top of each other going around. Going up, on, building up on top of each other.
filling up this whole area. Can I just do the rest in that one? What line, which area are you going to do next? Um, the one up here. Okay, and what do you think you're going to do in there? Like the waves. You're going to do some waves? Absolutely. Okay, I think I'll do, um, I think I'll do a different one. I think I'll do uh, maybe, this that section's pretty large. I think I'm going to divide this section into two, so I'm going to go like this. And over here, I'm just going to do a bunch of Z's, kind of like um, lightning bolts. Remember, go at your own pace. If you need to pause, if you need to take a break, at any point you can take a break and come on back. We're trying our best. We're taking our time. All right, I'm filling these all in with Z's. All right, so I have three sections done. Joey's working on a fourth section. He's doing some circles. I am going to do, um, I'm going to do this one right here that we did last time. Where it's the, um, uh, we create uh, uh, diamonds by intersecting lines. So I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to do some jaggedy lines up and down, but I have to do them kind of big if I want to do the, create the diamonds. Okay, there we go. And right now you have switched entirely to Sharpie. Entirely to Sharpie. Could you imagine trying to do this all in pencil and then tracing it, like retracing it in Sharpie? It would take you twice as long. So doing what I'm doing, I'm creating a ton of, of, um, of uh, diamonds. You do not have to do the line patterns that I'm doing or that Joey's doing. You can do the ones that you want to do. Right, I'm on my very last row. Maybe not. Maybe no, I might need to do a little bit more. Jo Joey is turning his um what do you call it? His uh circles into soccer balls. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Uh, down up, down up, and then wait a minute, I kind of lost where how I was doing this. There we go. And then I'm gonna just finish it off down here. This is a kind of a little bit of a complicated pattern. So I made a ton of triangles there. And do you see how my lines are super close together in that one? It creates an effect of a darker texture, a darker texture. So I've done one, two, three, four segments. Joey is, uh, working a lot faster than I am. Hang on, there we go. He's doing some cursive E's in that section. All right, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do another break right here, and I'm gonna do one that I pick my pin up. So I'm gonna do lines where I'm picking my pin up. And this on uh, um, the one next to it, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to do lines. No, you know what? I think I'll save that for another place. Here, I think I will do um, a pattern of um, circles and squares. How about that? So circle, square, circle, square, circle. Square, circle, square, circle. 
I'm just kind of doing it the opposite. So I have a circle up here, so below it I'm doing a square. All over. Almost done with this section. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can pause it and come back and press play once you catch up to where I am. Or if you need a break, pause it and come on back. So I've done quite a few segments. Joey's uh, has about two more segments to go. All right, I'm gonna choose another shape. I'm gonna do the triangle up and down. So I'm gonna go pointing up and then pointing down. So I'm just gonna do triangles all over this segment. Trying my very best, taking my time. Uh, uh oh, that's supposed to point down. Oops. And it's okay to make a mistake. Nothing in art or life is perfect. We just try our best. And pointing up, down. But the main thing is to keep our best effort going the whole way through. And try our very best. And to have a good time. How are you doing, Joe? Good. Where are you? I'm on the stem, the last part. Oh, awesome. Okay, so Joey's going to work down his stem right now. I'm going to be finishing up over here. So I did a bunch of triangles in here. I think this part I will do um, a hatch mm -hmm. mark. You done? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna show you Joey's. He finished up. Okay. So he is all done. I think he's gonna sign off. Are you gonna sign off? Do you wanna wave yeah. goodbye? Bye. Bye. Okay, and I'm gonna finish up with you in case you need a little more time. Uh, the main important thing is that I want to make sure if you are in fact done yourself, I'd like you to make sure you write your name on the back of this. This is gonna be going into our art portfolios, okay? So make sure you write your name on the back of this. I'm going to keep going though. My assistant has left me in the dust. All right, so I think what I'll do is I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm on my eighth one here. I think on this one, I'm gonna do some hash marks. So I'm gonna come off to the side like I said, you can follow along with me or you can do your own line. It's what you decide. Keep going all the way off to the side. And then I'm going to cross it, be going the opposite direction. Right, I am just about done with this segment right there. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this into two segments here, and I think I'm gonna divide that into two segments. On this one, I think I'm going to do, let's see, what should I do? What if I do a bunch of these? Okay, so I am going to do that big, Square idea. 
where it just folds in on itself. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see which one I'm doing. I'm gonna do a bunch of those all within. This one I started going in this direction. You can have them going in different directions. This one I'll start going the opposite direction. If this is what you're choosing to do. Okay. This one I'm gonna have it start that going down. So I've done one, two, three, four, five big ones, and now I can do kind of small ones to fill it in. Okay. Okay. So I did a couple big ones, a couple small ones, and I'm done with that line segment over there. And this one, I think I'll do those cursive E looking swirls. Okay, and then I have three more sections left. Bit one, two, and three. So how about here? Um, why don't I do like a pattern of X's, big and small? I can do big, small, big, small, small, big, small, big, small, big. Okay, all the way through doing this pattern. Remember, you can choose to do what I'm doing or you can do your own. Fill so that whole area in. Now I think I'm gonna come up here, see this one, how I did, um, some lines that were broken up going in the horizontal direction. I can do the same thing going in the vertical direction right here. So I'll just pick up my pin and do a bunch of these coming down. all the way down. Okay, and then I have one more section left right here. I think maybe, let's see, I'm gonna look at both of ours, what should I do? Maybe I'll just do some uh, waves. How about that? I haven't done waves yet. So I'll just do waves coming down. Small ones. And I'm gonna get them really close together. The closer I get them together, the thicker that area looks and the darker of a texture it creates. take my Sharpie and I'm going to really like trace it and this might mean that you're kind of tracing it down a couple times so that it's really really bold right in every segment so see how I made that a really bold thick line 
I'm gonna do that all the way around my leaf. All the way around. Here's two more. Keep going. Each segment, so it's really nice and clearly defined where a segment is separated. I'm gonna keep coming down my leaf. I'm gonna have to have Joey come back and do this later. Each segment nice and defined. So it makes it pop a little bit more. This is, this is what you would call like an on the fly decision. I didn't think, I didn't know I was gonna do this part until the very end and it popped in my head. So I have my, all my sections clearly defined and now I'm going to trace real nice and thick around the whole border of my leaf. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make a thicker tracing and that might mean you're doing it a couple times and it's okay to spend some time on this. If you wanna pause for the day and come back to this part on a different day, that's fine. Just make sure you finish the lesson entirely. So you're making this part nice and, and boldly defined. all the way around my leaf. And then that separates the lines, the contour lines of the whole leaf going around the leaf from the designs of each section. Just kind of, I think it makes the leaf pop a little bit more. I'm gonna come all the way around. I'm taking my time, making this nice and thick, this line. So if you, uh, you know, I'm working with a thicker Sharpie or a bigger Sharpie because it's, I'm working on a bigger surface area. For you, if you when you're doing this with your Sharpie, you can um, have your Sharpie more um, flat with the paper in order to create this thicker line. The more upright you have the Sharpie, the more, uh, the thinner the line is, the more the Sharpie is flat against the paper, the thicker the line is. And if that means going back and forth with your movement a little bit to create this effect, you can do that. So see, I'm using the small Sharpie on my big paper and it's working just fine. So using your Sharpie that you have on your smaller piece of paper, this shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna switch back to my Sharpie. I'm almost halfway done with the contour of my leaf. Nice and thick and broad. I'm gonna come all the way down and halfway around my leaf. Remember, if you need to pause to catch up, press play. I'm coming all the way around my leaf. Just trying to find a good angle for my body. Coming around. I am just about done. All right.
coming down my stem to wrap it up. And then I'm going to do this oval part to finish it off. All right, so now my border of my leaf is nice and, and thick and bold. All my segments are thick and bold. And then all of my patterns within my segments have a thinner texture to them. So we're going to finish here. I'm going to show you uh, once again, Joey's. He's going to have to come back and do that last step with me. And uh, that should wrap it up. Make sure your name is on the back. Make sure you save your artwork for the October art material uh, pickup date. You're gonna be dropping it off there. If you are in Maestro Grimaldo's class, um, I'm going to be collecting these from her because I will be putting the art portfolios together. So you need to turn in your artwork if you do in fact want an art portfolio for the school year. So good job, you guys. Really proud of your hard effort, your perseverance, and um, enjoy the rest of your time doing the art lesson if you're not done. Otherwise, if you're done, awesome. And I will see you next time.